Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany, often tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I have something from Ben Riach, Ben Riach the 10 year old, Ben Riach the 10 year old triple distilled. And this is from Rachel Berry Master Blender. So this is a travel retail exclusive. It is a one liter bottle and I paid 69 euros 90 for this. Now, if you divide that price down to a 0.7 liter bottle, you're around 48 euros 90. So now this is triple distilled, which does not happen very often. Ben Liac produces about 1.8 million liters of spirit a year. A portion of that is going to be peated and the even smaller portion of that, about 15,000 liters a year is going to be triple distilled. Now the casks are all exclusively used for the entire 10 years. So we have virgin oak. Is it American oak? I assume, I don't know. Is it charred? I don't think so. Is it toasted? Probably. Mm -hmm. um, so we have virgin oak, we have Pedro Jimenez, and we have ex bourbon casks. So if you look in the back, bourbon cask, Pedro Jimenez, virgin oak. And then they're actually then blended together from Miss Rachel Berry to make this wonderful blend. 43%, 46 would have been better, 48 would have been great, but hey, 40, um, 43%. And then the back, it says here, natural cask. And then there's a hyphen, imparted color. So I'm just going to read it natural color. Yay. Is it non-chilled filtered? No. At least there's no mention whatsoever. Sorry, Ben Liach. That could be done a little bit better. And um, thank you for allowing at least the people in travel retail. I had to buy this directly from an airport to have this product. Now, what I'm going to do is I actually did a blind tasting recently with a member of the German Brown Foreman uh, sales force, uh, Thomas, Thomas K. And we had five different Ben uh, products. We had the 10, the Smoky 10, the 12, the Smoky 12, and the Smoke Season. And what I have here is I have the 10 and I have here the 12. So I'm not going to put pictures here. So you can just remember 10, 12, normal, not smoky. And here we have the triple distilled 10. Now, the interesting thing about the 10 year old that we have here is that we have bourbon, sherry and virgin oak casks. Now, 10 years ago, Brown Foreman did not own the distillery. Billy Walker did. So Billy Walker likes using virgin oak. Billy Walker likes using sherry casks. And Billy Walker often finds distilleries that had a lot of bourbon cask stuff in the warehouses. Now the 12 year old is actually my favorite. So this is um, 43%, this is 43%, this is 46%, well done. And the 46 12 year old is actually matured in bourbon, sherry and port wine casks. Um, 42 euros, 32 euros, about 48 euros. So not bad for the prices. We can, we can live with these prices at the moment. On the nose, now the thing that I get, and that's what really, really disappoints me with this whiskey, is I get wood. I get virgin oak wood. I would assume that if we only have 15,000 liters of triple distilled spirit, we would put it in quiet casks to allow this quiet, somewhat um, more refined spirit to shine. Normally I would not put it in virgin oak and just the virgin oak's gonna just dominate. And that's what happens here. For me, in my opinion, the virgin oak dominates even too much for this spirit to actually shine. So the 10 year old smells like a 30 some year old, uh, 30, sorry, not 30 year, year old, but 30 euro whiskey. The, the more I taste whiskey, the less important age statements become for me. Unfortunately, the more important the price tag becomes. The cheaper the whiskey, not always, but sometimes, usually, unfortunately, the worse the taste. I've had 12, 15, 18-year-old whiskeys that were somewhat 
good in the price range. But if you actually took a younger whiskey and paid maybe the same price, they beat the, the older whiskeys almost every time. And so it's not often, unfortunately, the age that is a significant um, telltale of how good a whiskey is going to be, but unfortunately, often the price. Now, this 12-year-old, by the way, that 42 euros, that sherry port bourbon magic is absolutely something I can recommend. 46% and even my favorite of the night. All right, but we're going here and we're testing the Ben Liach wood emphasized triple distilled Ben Liach whiskey. What, what I think is unique is I really, really don't get the impression that the Pedro MNS is overpowering this. The virgin oak is overpowering, but the Pedro Jimenez is dialed back. And the bourbon, eh, even less so. Now on the nose, I could, I should be getting here, according to the official tasting notes, candied orange, creamy vanilla, and vibrant spiced oak. Yeah, I talked about the vibrant spiced oak a lot, didn't I? And a little bit of vanilla, and, ugh, Okay, the candied orange. I've had I've had whiskeys with much much more massive candy orange moments. Cheers. Hmm. This has so much virgin oak emphasis on the taste. That is almost, not identical, but it's almost like a little bit like a bourbon. I'm not used to that on my single malt scotch. My single malt scotch usually do not have that nice wood virgin oak moment. And I'm coming to this whiskey with the expectations of a delicate, fruity, triple distilled whiskey. And instead I get this massive punch of oak which disappoints and confuses me to be honest to go over to the 10 year old 43 percent at least it's 43 and not 40 i am not a big fan of this this is not something i can really really recommend to my my friends that bourbon sherry and virgin oak moment the virgin oak is very subtle here compared to this. Even the sherry is somewhat, somewhat subtle. I do get that old tired cask moment of bourbon. Third and fourth fill. Not... the exciting moment of whiskey tasting that I hope for. But luckily there's the 12 year old. The 12 year old is in my opinion, fantastic. This is where Ben Riach shines. And especially the, the, the port and the sherry together make for a beautiful, beautiful 46% non-chilled filtered moment of goodness. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> the 12 year old 46 is smoother, is less alcoholic, is creamier, is much, much more of a mouth filling viscosity, vis viscous moment. Mm. And that port sherry combo, <clears throat> that combo port and sherry is just mouth-watering good. So if I were to give this um, on a good day a C plus, I'm going to give this on a good day a B minus, and on a good day I'm going to give this a C to C minus. So B minus, C minus, C to C plus. Ben Liach has a whole range of different products and. Some of them are actually 
32 euros. Yeah. 42 euros. Yeah. 48 euros. Well, on a good day. And you want some, you want you want a good a good virgin oak moment. This is going to do it for you. Value for money. C taste C plus. All right. Question of the day, what other um, distilleries do you know of in Scotland that do triple distillation, Ockintosh and and? And I would love for you to actually um, thumbs up, recommend, subscribe, and tell others. Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of American over here in Germany, tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. A travel retail exclusive, one liter Benria, 10 triple distilled with a little bit much, too much of the, uh, the virgin oak uh, proportions in it. Sorry, Rachel Berry. Maybe next time better. Bye-bye.